Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo, where we are here in our wonderful Zoodesia Zoo, where we have got some amazing hybrid animals in our Raboose exhibit, including the Peafit, which was actually one of our goose, like rabbit crossbreeds, or hybrids I should say, that we ended up going ahead and allowing somebody to glue some feathers onto, and I have to say I actually love how he looks. And look, his happiness is like totally high. So we're doing fine, guys. We're doing fine. But all right, <gasps> balloons. Oh my gosh, the balloon shop is up and going. And we actually have people walking around with balloons and it is the cutest thing. I really love it. And uh, we're gonna start going ahead and trying to improve the conditions of our zoo. We're gonna start moving some of these buildings around. We're going to try to make more paths. We're gonna put a ton more trees in because my patrons have told me that one of the best things you can do for uh, your entire zoo is put down tons and tons of trees because it offsets your co2 which makes you gain a bit of a morality bonus which i'd be pretty happy about just saying just saying so we have a lot of projects going on right now um and that's not even involving the great goose genomes that we are trying to go ahead and unlock oh and we need to hire somebody at the pretzel shop i almost forgot about that all right let's see anybody okay politeness low Politeness medium, politeness low, politeness. Ah, oh, why do none of you want to be polite? Here, I think Kelsey is the closest we have. And if we way overpay her, we should be able to go ahead and actually have somebody sell things. Like facilities, 10 up, yes. All right, now the pretzel shop is selling quite a few things. And I think Kelsey's gonna do a good job of at her job. So we'll leave her there. We have a lot of improvements that we actually need to do uh, all over the place transfers huh a baby bunny from the breeding pen has been transferred or from breeding has been transferred to a pen yay we have things in the crisper and we have new bunnies born hello hello little ones oh my goodness and you guys need more water i think i have way too many bunnies in there now we need to do something about that um all right so where to begin i think we need to buy some new land like it's expensive to do but I don't think I can make all of the projects I want happen without more land, uh, especially because I want to give the rabbits more space. I want to give the geese more space. There's just a lot of expanding that we need to do because uh, these pens are just way. Oh, my gosh, this pen is. Oh, my gosh, there's so many bunnies. Way too small! Way too small! Alright, let's try releasing some of those bunnies into the wild for conservation. So, let's see. How's the bunny population doing? Least concern, it's decreasing though! <gasps> so we can release some of our bunnies into the wild. And since we have so many of these rabbits now, I, I'm gonna call them like the plop rabbits because they look like little blorbs. So if we have a bunch of plop rabbits, a whole bunch actually, I'm going to go ahead and select a couple of the females. And then there's Trouble and Purdy. Um, we have a bunch of babies that are going to be growing up soon. So we'll select that one. And then how about maybe Ozzy? Shasta? There's another Ozzy. How about these two Ozzies? Let me make sure I have a male of that variant though. Let's see. I do not. So we're going to keep the male Ozzy. But we'll go ahead and say goodbye to Shelby, Harrison, and Dusty. So they can head out. And so if we release all these guys into the wild, I think our morality goes up and we have less bunnies <laughs> that we have to keep track of. <laughs> Phew! And then I want to start breeding for our great glorious goose um, with the crisper because we have two fancy pantsy geese in there that I really want to get out so we can try to like celebrate all things that are good and goosely by unlocking the full genome. So with that in mind, I'm going to make a like goose, like fancy goose zone over here and over here. And maybe it'll be like our special breeding zones. And I was thinking, why don't we actually put at the center of these beautiful places a gorgeous fountain? So I want in the middle of the habitat to have a fountain. Um, but that doesn't mean I'll try to build it just right. But that doesn't mean that it's going to be like inside of the habitat. Just like it's good. The habitat's going to go around it like so. Maybe. Can you do that? Can you make a habitat? I think you might be able to. Where you can make like 
this is kind of what I'm thinking. Like I can make a square with the, come on. All right, can I do that? Is that possible? I think so. Ah, dang it. All right, it doesn't look like you can quite pull off what I am dreaming of. So maybe instead what I could do is have like half of the habitat on one side of the fountain and then have a second habitat on the other side of the fountain. So that that way I can have multiple animals. Yeah, this might work. Where like this L will be one habitat and then we could have another habitat on the other side. I think that would work out really well. All right, we'll put this here. And then we'll come on over. How many over did I do? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Got it. See? Whoops, and I forgot to put down the fence. Gosh darn it, I had it all like perfectly lined up and everything. But this can be one, two, three, four, five. This can be like where we specifically put the animals that we are trying very hard to get the special variants of into these little exhibits right over here. Uh, and that will go next to our animal conservation station, which will hopefully help us bring up our morality. I lost a lot of morality by painting one of our geese to look like a peacock, but how could I turn that offer down? <laughs> it was simply too amazing. All right, we need a water pump that's going to make sure to cover these guys. So let's put a water pump over here. I'll go ahead and upgrade this thing like right away, even though that's kind of expensive. And then before I put down the tiles, these are a lot closer than I actually wanted. So let's move this. Yeah, they're a lot closer than I wanted to the conservation center because I want to put a lot of decorations and some gift shops around the conservation center. So let's move you. Thank goodness it's so easy just to like edit everything and make it nice. And then I think we can actually move this nursery like up behind the conservation center. Oh, if only it lined up just right. I wanted it to line up perfectly and it just quite doesn't. Ah, uh, because one's a little bit bigger than the other. Oh, but if we do this, I don't mind that. And then maybe put some trees and a path in between them. Or maybe just some trees. All right, trees there, trees there. I think that could be nice. Yeah, all right, let's do this. Yay, and the balloon shop is having record sales. Well, that's wonderful. All right, and the water thing should be covering. Here we go, there to make sure that we have plenty of water for the special animals that are gonna be coming up here. And then let's move a path, get some nice pathing. I still think we need, oh, what kind of pathing can we unlock before we really get into this and we really get grooving? Oh, and the nature, yes, we need to make it match the nature archways. I absolutely need that in my life. There's stone flooring that we could put next to those spots there. There's decorative tiles there. This one has little paw prints. Okay, that one could be really cute. Let's unlock that one. Oh, and now we can make hops. Uh, we already unlocked the floor nature pack. Okay, I haven't unlocked this pack yet. There we go. So unlock one more floor tile pack to make your visitors uh, easier for your visitors to walk, reducing amount of energy they use per step by 10%. Yay, that would leave them with more energy to spend on shopping, which is what we want them to do. And here's the wood pack. That's one of the ones I was like holding out on. Ooh, now we can get lettuce. That would be really helpful. Okay, so I just spent like all of our research points on new paths, but totally worth it. I think we need to do the paw print tile. Yeah, we're gonna need to do the paw print tile going next to the conservation center. The wood decking could also be kind of cool, but this is like, this is the serious place. This is what it's all about, this conservation release center. So I wanna make it, I wanna make it feel really grand to walk past. There we go. And then we'll cover this with plants and we'll have it, yay, hang in there little animals. And we'll have it kind of connect up over here. Yeah, I want to leave enough area. Maybe I should move it over one. Cause I want to, yeah, we'll move it over one. Cause I want to leave enough area that we can actually go ahead and really decorate with a lot of plants. <laughs> so we'll move this down. Whoops, whoops, whoops. 
All right, let's see. Move that down a little bit. Oh, and we sold some commodities. Cool. Yeah, and this will just mark off like where we're going to fix up the area in the future. All right, so I need it one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four away. Yes, there we go. And we're manufacturing plastic from all of the trash that people are bringing. Oh, I feel so good. We're, we're really, we're doing good in the world, friends. All right, let's see. Do I want to switch to cobblestone back here? Or maybe wood decking? To be honest, I like the wood planks. We can always consider like swapping them out for something else later. All right. And then this is where we're going to actually decorate with some plants. Can I, how many trees can I fit in here? I can fit in two, two stacks of trees. So I think we'll allow, maybe, maybe we'll do this. One path that you can go down to go behind the conservation center and complete it. And then we'll switch back over to wood paths for over here. There we go. Yay, all right, I'm very happy about that. Um, and then we'll do a couple wood paths or maybe cobblestone? No, we'll stick to wood. You have to pick a theme and stick, oh! <gasps> Look at this snake, that is the coolest snake. What the heck? Okay, all right, to the world map. Oh my gosh, that is such a cool snake. All right, we've got to go ahead and grab that snake. I'm running out, oh, we're out of snake, we're out of snake space. Okay, that means let's come in and let's release some snakes. Um, we'll go ahead and release some of these green snakes into the wild. That should hopefully do it. And then Brandy's 133 years old, oh my word. All right, well, I don't wanna like lose Brandy, so we'll release Morgan as a little young, young one off into the wild. Phew, okay guys, oh my gosh, I hope that helped out our morality a little bit more, animals. Unwanted animals breeding how early babies are taken from their mother. We're doing good on that released animals doing great there doing great there All right, the food quality for our visitors could actually be better noted <laughs> All right, meanwhile, I think I've completed like a task Yay money Okay, and we need to work on mapping that glorious goose genome That's what we have been trying to build our way up to this whole time is there enough space to decorate and have guests walk? This is the last time I get to like know, know that before, here, we're gonna move everything up one before we start the great glorious goose breeding program. All right, there we go. Let's come in. I wanna make sure we have some water prepared for our great glorious geese so that we never have to worry about them needing any water. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, and let's get a new zookeeper. So I need to hire a new staff member. I've got to make a whole bunch of our current staff members a lot happier. <laughs> Cause we need to hire a new staff member to take care of these great glorious geese to the crisper. Please give me a female variant of this fancy goose. That is what we desperately need. All right, there's one manage collect come on female variant of this fancy goose that's what we need here did we get the great glorious fancy goose that we need all right all right here they are here they are they're being dropped off and yes we have a girl we have a girl and a boy oh thank goodness all right that should do it and we have an applicant for the zookeepers so let's see if this would be a good person to hire work ethic through the roof politeness ah oh, don't even need to worry about that because they're hardly going to like work with any of the customers colleen my dear i'm gonna go ahead your zones are gonna be these two and then we will expand them as appropriate in the future all right guys let's come into this goose habitat and we're actually going to move all of our great glorious geese, Willow the boy, Butchie, and Chewy here are going to get moved into this habitat where we can try to breed the last of the geese that we actually need in order to go ahead. Oh, who's this? Steven the transport planner. Open up to the world. The next transport route I want to open up for you is going to bring in a lot of customers. Can you ensure that your current fleet of buses are running at 50% efficiency and above when your zoo closes at the end of the day? If so, I will approve expanding your bus coverage. M may have at least 50% bus coverage. Ooh, okay. 
Wow! Oh, we unlocked the new bus route! Riverside Suburbs! I don't even know how we did that! Yay! Alright, and here are our great glorious geese. These guys need some enrichment, so let's go ahead and add in some enrichment and decorations. Um, how about some wooden logs? Maybe- oh, ooh, ooh. does it have enough room for a shelter? Oh, please tell me I remember to leave enough room for a shelter. Alright, add object, shelter. We can have a cute little wooden shelter back here that the geese could enjoy. I really- I- I love the mossy shelter. I know it's kind of cliche, but I just really love the mossy shelter. Okay, and I'm gonna want to move, edit enclosure, move gate, move the gate over here, and then edit enclosure. No, 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 I don't want to move the whole enclosure. I want to view objects. There we go. Water basin! All right, we're gonna move the water basin, maybe right here. There we go. And then in this habitat, enclosure number 14, I wish I could rename them, but it's okay. I understand why you can't. We need to add in some enrichment for these guys. So let's get a small ball. We'll start there. What else? I don't think our geese need high beams. They serve as a resting place for animals though. I mean, maybe they'll climb up the high beams and enjoy that. It'd be interesting to find out if what things you pick as your enrichment items uh, do or don't match up to what your animals want to do. Like, do you want in the box? A simple yet humble box to keep our animals entertained. Let's try putting a box in here. Why not? All right, are you guys happy now? Look how happy they are! How could they not give us the last of the glorious geese genome that we need in order to complete that mission? I'm sure any minute now we're going to have excellent news when it comes to the glorious goose project. Uh, also, I think we're doing good on the- oh, we're still working on the bun buns. Still trying to get some of those good bun buns. Oh, one of the bunnies died and got incinerated. Oh dear. Uh, all right. Meanwhile, apparently I've completed some more tasks. <gasps> what? The snakes beat us? All of this work, all of this work I have done, and instead... <laughs> The sneaky snake has snuck behind us, friends. Congratulations on mapping all of the snake genome. You can now splice all of its variants in the CRISPR splicer. Wow. All of this work! Put to the side because of these sneaky snakes. But all right, guys, I guess that means we should go ahead and like put some like snakes into the CRISPR. Maybe we could have some snake rabbits? I'm not really sure, but I feel like now I have to celebrate with snakes. <laughs> because they have gone ahead and they have they have beaten me to this. So I think we'll move our robot lion because I did want to give him like his own special exhibit somewhere. More fitting. And uh, we might go ahead and just like open up our snake area to have more snakes and maybe we'll move the farm like we'll have more farmland up along the corners here oh my gosh i can't believe the snakes beat me i was i was really trying to have the great glorious goose like revival and instead the snakes beat me all right we're gonna have to crossbreed the snakes with whatever we have on hand next time because you know we've got to celebrate the fact that the snakes have uh, been so awesome but all right guys thank you so much for joining me on this adventure if you guys could do please leave a like for our sneaky snakes and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.